I have always enjoyed the sweet nostalgia that comes with operating an ice cream van. The joyous laughter of children, the eager faces peering through the window, and the delightful melodies that echo through the neighborhood. But little did I know that behind the cheerful facade of my beloved ice cream van lay a sinister secret waiting to unleash its terrifying grip. It was a chilly autumn evening when I set out on my usual route. The sky was adorned with a blanket of gray clouds, casting an eerie shadow over the streets below. As I parked my van in a dimly lit corner, a peculiar sensation washed over me, a foreboding feeling that something was amiss. Ignoring my unease, I donned my uniform and prepared for the night ahead. The first customers arrived, their youthful eyes sparkling with anticipation. I served them with a smile, doing my best to dismiss the unnerving sensation creeping up my spine. But as the night wore on, an eerie hush descended upon the neighborhood. The once vibrant streets seemed devoid of life, as if swallowed by an unseen darkness. I played the familiar jingle from the van's speakers, hoping to break the unsettling silence. Yet, instead of filling the air with whimsy, the melody distorted, transforming into a dissonant cacophony. My heart quickened its pace, pounding against my chest as my grip tightened on the steering wheel. Still, I pushed forward, convinced that it was merely a technical glitch. As I rounded a quiet street corner, a flickering street lamp cast eerie shadows on the surrounding buildings. My eyes caught a glimpse of movement in the periphery, a fleeting figure darting between alleyways. With a knot of apprehension tightening in my stomach, I decided to investigate, abandoning the safety of my van. The narrow alleyways swallowed me whole, enveloping me in an abyss of darkness. My footsteps echoed hollowly against the walls, each sound reverberating through the eerie silence. Suddenly, a frigid gust of wind howled through the narrow passage, extinguishing the flickering street lamp. I was plunged into complete darkness, my heart pounding in my ears. Fear seeped into every fiber of my being as I fumbled for my flashlight, the beam slicing through the darkness. What I saw before me defied logic and reason. Pale faces with sunken eyes peered at me from the shadows, their mouths twisted into grotesque grins. Their bony fingers reached out, beckoning me closer with a haunting melody that echoed in my ears. Panic consumed me, and I stumbled backward, my mind racing for an escape. But the alleyways seemed to stretch infinitely, twisting and turning, leading me further into their clutches. The air grew colder, my breath materializing as mist in front of me. The haunting melody grew louder, reverberating through the labyrinthine passages. Just as I thought all hope was lost, a faint glimmer of light appeared in the distance. Desperation fueled my legs as I sprinted towards the beckoning glow, my mind consumed by the terror that pursued me. With a surge of relief, I burst through the exit of the maze, collapsing onto the familiar streets I once knew. Gasping for breath, I glanced back, but the alleyways had vanished, leaving only a solitary street lamp illuminating the empty road. The ice cream van sat quietly, its cheerful facade taunting me, as if mocking the horror I had just experienced. From that night on, I vowed never to venture into the shadows again, haunted by the chilling secrets that lurked within my once-beloved ice cream van. The relentless summer sun beat down upon my ice cream van as I prepared for another day of business. The scorching heat seemed to penetrate my very soul, yet I braved the discomfort, determined to bring joy to the parched and sweaty residents of the neighborhood. Little did I know that this day would mark the beginning of a bone-chilling nightmare. As I roamed the streets, a sense of unease settled upon me. The usually vibrant and bustling town seemed eerily deserted, devoid of any signs of life. The air felt heavy, stagnant, as if an invisible presence loomed over me, casting a shadow upon my very existence. I dismissed the ominous feeling, attributing it to the sweltering heat and my overactive imagination. But as the day progressed, an uncanny pattern emerged. Each time I stopped the ice cream van, a single customer would approach, their features hidden beneath a dark hood or obscured by the glaring sunlight. Their eyes, however, burned with an unnatural intensity, sending a chill down my spine. And without uttering a word, they would select their ice cream, their icy fingers grazing mine as they handed me the money. With each encounter, a dreadful sensation grew within me. 
It was as if the life force was being drained from me, replaced by a creeping emptiness that whispered of something sinister. But I was entrapped in a macabre routine, doomed to serve these shadowy figures that appeared like specters amidst the relentless heat. As dusk settled upon the town, the atmosphere turned oppressive, suffocating. The once blue sky transformed into a swirling vortex of inky blackness, swallowing the last vestiges of daylight. The customers grew more numerous, their figures blending together in an unsettling dance of shadows. Their eyes, now luminescent, glowed with a predatory hunger that sent tremors through my very being. In a state of dread, I sought solace within the sanctuary of my van. But even within those metal walls, the air grew colder, and a sickening scent of decay wafted through the vents. Panic clutched at my chest, my breath coming in shallow gasps as the spectral figures pressed closer, their whispers seeping through the van's thin walls. Suddenly, the ice cream van lurched into motion, its engine roaring to life without my command. The steering wheel twisted against my grasp, defying my every effort to regain control. I was trapped, hurtling through the town's darkened streets at an impossible speed, the specters now surrounding me, their pale faces illuminated by the sickly glow of the moon. As the van careened towards an unknown destination, their whispers grew louder, their voices melding into a symphony of malevolent laughter. I screamed, my pleas swallowed by the darkness that enveloped me. Desperate, I clawed at the windows, longing for escape from this relentless nightmare. And then, as if by some twisted stroke of fate, the van screeched to a halt in the heart of an ancient cemetery. The specters vanished into thin air, leaving me alone with the silence of the dead. Trembling, I stumbled out, my legs weak and unsteady. As I surveyed my surroundings, a chilling realization struck me. The graves before me bore familiar names, names of those I had served, those I had encountered during the day. The customers of my ice cream van were but mere apparitions, lost souls drawn to me by an unknown force, demanding their final offering. Haunted by the memory of that horrific day, I abandoned my once beloved ice cream van, never to return. The remnants of that nightmare still linger within me, a constant reminder of the darkness that dwells within even the sweetest of dreams. I parked my colorful ice cream van in a quaint neighborhood, ready to serve up frozen treats to the eager children and families. The sun shone brightly, casting a warm glow on the surroundings. Little did I know that this seemingly ordinary day would turn into a nightmare that would forever haunt me. As the afternoon wore on, strange occurrences began to unfold. The cheerful jingle that played from the van's speakers twisted into an eerie melody, sending a shiver down my spine. I brushed it off as a technical glitch, but an uneasy feeling settled in the pit of my stomach. Customers approached their faces pale and expressionless. Their eyes, devoid of life, sent a chill through me as they ordered their ice cream without uttering a single word. I tried to maintain my composure, handing them their treats, but their icy touch burned my skin, lingering long after they had left. A sense of foreboding weighed heavily upon me, growing with each passing minute. Shadows danced and flickered around the van, playing tricks on my vision. I could have sworn I saw figures lurking in the corners of my vision, but whenever I turned, they vanished into thin air. Night fell, casting an ominous cloak over the neighborhood. The once lively streets became deserted, the silence broken only by the occasional hushed whispers that seemed to emanate from the darkness. Fear gripped me, but I had no choice but to continue my route desperate to finish my shift and escape the encroaching dread. As I drove down a dimly lit street, the van's engine suddenly sputtered and died, leaving me stranded in the black void. Panic surged within me as I fumbled for my phone, hoping to call for help. But to my horror, the screen remained dark, devoid of any signal or means of communication. A distant sound caught my attention, a faint, rhythmic tapping on the van's window. My heart pounded in my chest as I turned my gaze towards the source, only to be met with a bone-chilling sight. 
Hollow eyes stared back at me, their faces twisted in anguish and despair. They scratched the glass, their bony fingers leaving streaks of frost behind. Terror seized me, and I scrambled to escape, but the doors refused to budge. The figures grew more aggressive, pounding on the windows, their ghostly cries echoing in the confined space. I was trapped, a helpless prey within my own ice cream van. Just when I thought all hope was lost, a blinding light pierced through the darkness, illuminating the van's interior. The figures recoiled, their haunting wails fading into the night. With renewed strength, I forced open the doors and stumbled out, gasping for air. The van stood silent, as if oblivious to the horrors I had endured. I fled from it, vowing never to return, haunted by the chilling presence that had infiltrated my once beloved ice cream van. To this day, the memories of that terrifying experience linger, a constant reminder that even the simplest joys can be tainted by darkness, and that some secrets are best left undisturbed.